Hi, this is Jessica Fox filming for VETT 222 Task 18, which is Perform a Bacterial Culture and Sensitivity. Um, so first I'll point out the OCCI certificate here at the Lafayette Veterinary Clinic, and then go ahead and show you the supplies I'll need for this task. Um, I do have my incubator, um, which is already set for the appropriate um, temperature according to the manufacturer's instructions for this task. I do have my patient sample um, as a feline urine um, Kermit Bollinger is properly labeled with the patient name, ID, number, and then date. Um, I just have a label um, which is patient Kermit Bollinger, ID number, feline, nine years old, male neuter, and the date. And this is going to go on the um, blood, blood agar plate. I do have the um, sterile swab which is going to be used to um, obtain the sample and inoculate the plate with. <clears throat> So we can go ahead and get started. Just going to open up the patient sample and then open up the sterile swab. And then use this to obtain the patient sample. Go ahead and open up our agar plate. And then start. So I'm gonna. Swipe it that way, and then slightly overlapping. And again, and a final time. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our cover back on. Properly label the plate, the patient information. So I will place it in the incubator, and in 24 hours time, we'll be back to see what happens. Okay, so we're back um, to continue with task 18, the bacterial culture and sensitivity. Um, so the agar plate has been in the um, incubator for 24 hours now. We're going to check on it and see what it looks like. All right, so it does look like we have some growth here. Um, you can take a look at that and you can kind of see where I had um, inoculated the plate there. All right, so the next step is to um, place antibiotic discs on the growth. Um, we don't have antibiotic discs here, but according to the instructor, it is okay to use um, coffee filter paper soaked in an antibiotic solution. Um, so we did make this solution and I'll go ahead and soak these little um, plates here. Okay, so that looks good. And then I just have a pair of um, two steps here to, or four steps, I'm sorry, to pick up the discs. <clears throat> okay, so we'll take these. Just kind of place them on the growth. I'll just do one more. All right. So we do want to incubate this again. Um, so we'll go ahead and place it back in there. Let this incubate and we'll be back um, in 24 hours to read those results. Um, I do also want to point you over here in this direction and just show you um, some similar um, culture and sensitivity um, bacterial. So this is some growth. Um, it, it looks a little bit similar to mine. Mine's a little bit spotty. Um, but it's the same color, um, and then this one as well. You can see the growth there. All right, so after this incubates, we will be back. Okay, so our um, blood agar plate has been um, incubating for another 24 hours after we placed the antibac or, um, antibiotic discs. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look and see what's happened. All right. So it, it does not appear looking at the where the discs are and then the colonies of growth um, that the growth is being inhibited by the antibiotic discs. 
Um, therefore, this particular bacteria is not sensitive to this antibiotic. Um, you can kind of tell because there's no space in between um, the discs and then the colonies of growth. So looking at that, I'm going to record these results in the record. So as we've been going on um, day by day, I did put um, on the 11th, we inoculated the blood agar plate with free catch urine sample and then incubated 24 hours. Um, and then the following day, we checked the agar plate growth present, introduced the antibiotic disc to the growth, incubated another 24 hours. And um, now on this day, we can put um, growth not sensitive. to the antibiotic discs. All right, so we can go ahead and send those results to the doctor and this completes the task.